Good Saturday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik on a warm and muggy Saturday morning. Got a lot to talk about for this morning as we get into the rest of the weekend. Be prepared for the possibility of some more showers and thunderstorms out there. High temperatures, even though it says it's going to be in the mid to upper 80s on the forecast bar and the red bar at the bottom of your screen, we also are going to be seeing more chances of showers and thunderstorms with a lot of southerly winds, so that's going to increase the heat and the humidity out there and make it feel like it's back in the 90s once again tonight. Nice temperatures back into the mid 70s at best and maybe a few showers and thunderstorms with mainly cloud cover and winds out of the south for later on tonight doesn't look like a major severe weather threat but once again remember if you can see lightning or hear thunder you need to get back indoors again when thunder roars go indoors it may sound like a silly catchphrase but it may just save your life at some point and with all the outdoor activities this weekend definitely want to know where the safe spots are indoors is going to be your best bet when lightning is around so play it safe as we go throughout the rest of the weekend. Cough temp decks for today. Yep, it's going to be your call on this one, but it's going to be probably time for a bit of a chill out there as we get into the rest of the forecast for the rest of the day today. Remember, your coffee temperature, your business for the rest of the day. So if you like hot coffee, that's great, but if you burn your lips and your tongue, that's your business. Or if you get a brain freeze, let's remember to pay attention to our coffee temperature as well as to everything else out there while we're driving around and doing all kinds of other stuff. Heading to the rest of the, uh, for the summer season, we're not doing too bad out there. Numbers again, less than a week to go about five days and change for the most part as with the time we record this. Not going to be feeling any more like fall anytime soon. For the earthquake situation around the Mid-South, nothing to report. None reported from within the last 24 hours within the News Channel 3 County, so good news there. Heading out to the Liberty Bowl to see the Memphis Tigers and welcoming everybody from the University of Kansas who's in town to see the game today starting at the 11 o'clock hour. Chances of showers and thunderstorms around and about. Don't know about the policy for the Liberty Bowl. May want to call ahead or check the website to see what you can and cannot bring into the stadium. May not allow umbrellas in there, but you may need some rain protection as we go through there. Heading toward Vaught Hemingway Stadium in Oxford today. Good day for football with the temperatures going to be on the warm side, so definitely going to need some water out there. And chances of showers and thunderstorms in the Oxford area will linger through game time this afternoon and into this evening. So if you have any plans for outdoors football or otherwise, not doing too bad out there. Ole Miss campus at Union Plaza looking pretty good, pretty active already. Game day gets going in the Grove and a lot of people up and about tailgating and doing a lot of festivities out there before the football game starts within about the course of the next few hours. Heading into the rest of the day today, again looking at a lot of clouds out across the Mid-South and chances of rainfall out there will be with us doesn't look like, again, a complete and total washout, but we'll be keeping our eyes on that as we go throughout the rest of the day today. So stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 as we get into the rest of the day. Into the rest of the forecast, high temperatures today again back into the mid to upper 80s. And if we can get our cameras to advance here, that'd be nice. Getting into the rest of the forecast, no advisories to talk about right now. And a few scattered showers into the Mid-South, but not seeing anything in the way of thunderstorms outside of the occasional flash of lightning. And more chances of showers and thunderstorms will be possible into the rest of the day today. But right now, just light scattered showers, more moderate to widespread activity throughout the rest of the day today. Mississippi River at Memphis looking out over the bridge trio. Numbers will be dropping slowly into the next few days. So not seeing a huge amount of up or down numbers out there, but definitely some change. Clouds on Tim B's webcam from the Weather Underground System in Mineral Wells, Tennessee this morning. Germantown at X Airbus Drivers. Very nice pond backyard. So looking pretty nice so far there. Rhodes College picking up a little bit of sunshine this morning and temperatures early on back to the lower 70s out there but starting to rise with the extra sunshine. Former Mayor of Olive Branch Sam Reichert's webcam in and around the area looking back to the northwest on the weather underground system. More clouds than anything else and pretty cloudy at the Ole Miss campus again on the track and field cam few joggers and strollers out from early this morning. Air quality today should be rated as good according to the EPA and the National Weather Service and should stay at the good quality as we go into Sunday. Red warm out there and we will continue to see very high humidity levels so chances of showers and thunderstorms out across the Mid-South will be again possible but not an overall 
complete and total washout for the area, and it could always be worse. 98 degrees, our high temperature officially for Memphis yesterday. That set a record high. We also set a record high low temperature yesterday, and we came within 9 degrees of the national high at Death Valley, California. So it was pretty steamy out there yesterday. The low temperature yesterday, 74 the low. That, again, was a record high low temperature. That means it didn't get all that cool. It was very warm yesterday, so a very warm day out there. Fractions of an inch of rainfall for the Almanac and looking at a deficit for the month but a very big surplus for the year, so doing very good on the rainfall out there. No burn bans in effect. We're seeing no problems again out there so far. If anything does pop up from the, the Division of Forestries at these various states, we'll let you know about that. Rest of the day today, showers and thunderstorms off and on throughout the rest of mid-morning through about southwest Tennessee and northern areas of Mississippi, and then going into the rest of the afternoon and evening, chances of showers and thunderstorms the green-shaded area uh, again, for what we're looking at here, the sort of overall overreaching area of showers in that background green shaded category, that's where we'll see the chances of rainfall uh, the highest into the rest of the day. The heaviest amount of chances of showers and thunderstorms will be in the brighter concentrated colors here as they move out of the Mid-South toward this afternoon and into this evening. But there still will be lingering chances of showers and thunderstorms in and around the area as we get through the afternoon and evening hours past sunset. So expect some of those to be sticking around into night past News Channel 3 at 10, and maybe a lingering shower around the Corinth, northeastern Mississippi area, maybe the Tennessee River Valley by early tomorrow. Rest of the day today, high 80s, chances of showers and thunderstorms, greatest early this morning, early this afternoon, then dwindling. Tomorrow, an isolated possibility of a pop-up shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon, but not much more beyond that. 90 degrees for a high temperature as we go into Monday with more sunshine. Last day of summer on Wednesday, first day of autumn on Thursday. Temperatures back well in the summer territory, upper 80s to lower 90s, but that's pretty typical for this time of the year. Now, maybe as we go toward next Monday, the possibility exists, at least according to the computer numbers being spit out by the forecast and models. We could be seeing some temperatures much more pleasant coming our way in the high 70s to the lower 80s. That was old information. Apologies for that. Hopefully everybody had a good time at Kennan Observatory on the Ole Miss campus. The National Weather Service could use your help if you'd like to sign up for Skywarn meetings. They're free. They're open to the public. First one is coming up at the Carothersville Library in Carothersville, Missouri this Monday, 6 p.m., 707 West 13th Street. More following after that across the Mid-South. Your opportunity to learn and get yourself prepared for the possibility of severe weather in the Mid-South. Tons of opportunities there. Great pictures across the Mid-South. Thanks to everybody for sending in those pictures over the last few days and weeks. And if you've got anything you'd like to send in to the Mid-South, just go ahead and send it along to me at the News Channel 3 Weather Center at Aonic underscore WREG3. Deborah J54, nice harvest moonrise from last night. And also from Ali E-I-G-H, don't know how that's pronounced, uh, Ali Photography, sending that in from Bartlett, harvest moonrise there and Aonic underscore WREG3 is where you want to send it along to. Don't forget to tune into the EAB network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And I'll have the forecast bright and early Monday morning on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio with Bob and Josh. Complete and total coverage of the weather later on tonight. We'll be on a little bit late thanks to the Ole Miss Alabama game, so stay tuned to News Channel 3 for more there. Again, severe weather doesn't look to be a major concern, but we will be watching that just to make certain that nothing does happen. And if it does, we will break in to let you know more about what's going on, but nothing major so far, so good news on that. Either way, stay cool. It's going to be a very warm last weekend of summer 2016. From the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Austin.onik at WRAG.com. The email at the top of your screen if you care to send me comments, suggestions, concerns, criticisms, if you absolutely have to, and anything else involving weather, go ahead and let us know here at News Channel 3. Stick around for the forecast later on on News Channel 3 tonight and into Sunday. I'm meteorologist Austin Austinonic from the News Channel 3 Weather Center with our latest edition of exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.